Hello everyone, welcome back to Killer Film Reviews today. We're going to be doing a review of Bullet Train. That This film review has been kind of held up for a while, I must say. I thought I would have gotten to it a lot earlier. But, real life happens. As it were, so Bullet Train is a film by David Leish. It stars Brad Pitt as Ladybug the Assassin. Joey King as Prince, another interesting character. Aaron Taylor Johns as Tangerine. Brian Tyree Henry as Lemon. Andrew Koji as Kimura. Hayuru Sonata as the Elder. Michael Shannon as White Death. Sandra Bullock as Maria. Bad Bunny as Wolf. Logan Lerman, the Sun. Danny Beats, the Hornet. Maki Oka, the conductor. And a whole bunch of other characters. This film is hilarious. It's basically about um, Ladybug trying to sit there and go on a job to get a briefcase, which at the start of the film is held by Lemon and Tangerine, which themselves do are like professional assassins, as it were. You learn, that, you learn that in the film pretty much. Is there any any big things that you need to pay attention to? I would say um, it's mainly up to you how much you want to research this film ahead of time, but I would say it's best watched not with any information ahead of time. It's one of those films that's kind of like one and done. Like Once you've seen it, you're probably going to see it one more time and that's it. It definitely keeps you on your toes. It's one of them slow paced pick up the action films where it starts out slow and then it'll slowly pick up the pace. The character of White Death is especially interesting when you get into that part of the film. I really like the dynamic between Lemon and Tangerine. They're pretty much like brothers in arms in a sense. And then Lemon's giving his quips on Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Lemon has a knack for for knowing people pretty much. Ladybug's thing is that he always has bad luck. No matter what he does, he's always having some bad luck, but it ends up turning out in his favor. Surprisingly, it's hilarious. Prince, I'm not gonna give away the plot point because I think it would definitely take away from the film if I did, but pay attention to Prince throughout the film. You may just, you may just be Surprise, to say the least. Hmm. Let me think. Lemon, Lemon literally carries around a, a a book of stickers with Thomas the Tank Engine. He's got Percy. He's got Toby. He's got uh, Thomas himself. He's got Gordon. There's a lot of funny quips about Thomas the Tank Engine from Lemon in the film. There's a lot of players in this film that you wouldn't expect, but they come into play later on in the film. You kind of get that when you get through it a bit. Oh man, the wolf. The wolf was interesting. How His backstory, that's an interesting one. Swinging around that giant bowie knife, I want to say it is, and he's just having too much. He's just sitting there being over ecstatic and stuff, but he has his reason, which you'll learn in the film. Was there any big things that I wish would have been different in this film? Uh, not really. I think it's best watch as a one and done. It was one of those films during the pandemic which was teased a long time ago and then just finally came out this year. Man, people are going to be so, so, so lucky to be able to watch films in cinemas. They're not going to remember that awful year where we couldn't watch any films in cinema. I was the only one in the movies here that came out and saw Tenet for crying out loud, you know, when that came in theaters. The theaters were open, but then hardly anybody there. I just wore a mask, went in there, and saw Tenet. I was like, whoa. Speaking of Tenet, I really gotta sit there and rewatch it again and get a review out on it. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe I did. I gotta recheck. I don't think I have a review out for it on the channel, though. You'll notice that I've been doing some shorts. It's kind of to get this channel more in the eye of the average, average viewer of YouTube, pretty much. 
And let's be honest, the channel hasn't been growing too much, so I'm trying to do something to reinvigorate some growth in the channel. I'm hoping it does the trick and it works. Back to Bullet Train, does it... Is it a good film? What do I rate it? What, what rating out of 10 do I rate it? I rate it... Let's say I want to rate it an 8 out of 10. I felt that there's some plot elements that could have been handled a little bit better. But overall, it's meant to be like a thriller, comedy kind of a deal. Can they, will they possibly come back with another one, another film in this franchise? Perhaps. I would really much look forward to it, actually. I mean, I don't really, I don't really know what, what else they can do with it, but I don't really want to give away too much of the ending. You know, it's, it's such a good film that I don't feel like spoiling it, you know, and you guys have so, you guys have all these good films that come out every once in a while, and this is one of the decent ones. I'm like halfway, what am I at? I've been watching She-Hulk, I've been noticing it's it's getting a little better. Episode 2 is just terrible for She-Hulk. The dinner scene was just terrible writing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of good end credit scenes that you're going to want to watch. There's a lot of twists and turns with, uh, with Bullet Train. Is it something I'd rewatch? Most definitely. Most definitely. It was hilarious, especially the dynamic between Lemon and Ladybug eventually later on in the film. And there's some kind of side plots I'm not going to spoil. It's always a good time when I'm seeing Michael Shannon in a film. I, I, I really like him for Kangaroo Jack. He still only looks like he's 30. It's just crazy. He's a lot older in the film, though. No kind of get that. I really want to see... I'm really hoping we get to get news of soon is uh, Pacific Rim 3. But knowing how busy that director is, it's not going to be for a while. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little shorter than usual killer film review. I'll be out with another video here soon enough. But yes, 8 out of 10 for Bullet Train. Fun, entertaining, thriller, comedy. Go see it with your friends. As long as they're adults, of course. Rated R. You gotta watch them ratings. Anyway, um, hope you all have a good day. And yes, I'm gonna uh, double check this rating here. Train rating. Let's see, what did they rate it? No, yep, it's R. That's what I thought, but honestly, it felt like it could have been a PG-13 if they had taken on a couple of scenes. But I think anybody would enjoy this film, so have a good day. See you in the next film review. Thank you.